Hey everyone, just finished watching One Piece and I'm so very. Okay, there were some awesome fight scenes, which is one thing One Piece does. They give us little small bits of fighting. I love the animation on Sabo's flames. Yes, Sabo! God, I missed that son of a bitch. Uh, I love Bartolomeo sacrificing himself for Luffy and saying, I can do any more barrier. And goes like, Luffy Senpai, I would die for him. And Robin says, yes, our captain is a man that's worth risking his life for. God damn. That, that, that made me think about the little things that I heard. i seen famous say that there's a main character is going to die. And I'm like, what? They're not going to kill off a, a, an awesome character. Oh wait, they did that once, they killed Ace. But like, the, one of the crew is gonna die. Like, I'll be sad. Oh, the only guy that I know is not gonna die is Brooke. Brooke's already dead. So, probably had a joke, one of his like, I'm gonna die, although I'm already dead. Haha, <laughs> one of those lame jokes he does. So, I don't think like, Brooke can die. Cause he can leave his body behind and just be a soul. Can he possess inanimated objects or something? That would be cool as hell. Like Frankie could build him a new body, like a robot, and he just... It's just my, it's me rambling about. And it was a good episode. I love when Rebecca, like, is dazing, dazing off, like looking at the sunflower field, and remember when, you know, the soldier man, his, fa his father in toy form, and like, here comes in uh, Diamond, his name is Diamond. It looks way taller now. I felt like he was. Uh, I know he was tall, but now he looks way taller. God, I see his face. What the fuck? I hate his face. I don't give a fuck if he killed Rebecca's mother. I do not give a shit about that character. I don't. Seriously, I'm sick of the dressage arc. It's been taking too long. It's not even halfway through. But ah, uh, something about the amount of his face. Like, I don't like this that bad guy. I can't wait to Kiros to kill him. Oh yeah, spoiler alert by the way, sorry. But, you know, this was a good episode, we got little fight scenes. We, we see Cavendish helping Bartolomeo. Cavendish is an actually, actually a very cool guy, you know. At the first I thought he was like, eh, I want Cavendish. Like I said, he was a nice guy. If he joins the crew, I'm going to be happy and a little bit disappointed because I thought the girl was going to join. Because there's too much dick on that crew, of course. Paul Brooke has no dick. Okay. I thought Rebecca was gonna join for some reason. And I also, during the mermaid arc, I thought that, I don't know, Sheeta Hoshi was gonna join for some reason. I don't know. If, well, I don't know why I thought that. I thought Rebecca was gonna join. I just, I just wanted to see a new crewman joining the crew with a nice story. And I see them go on their ship. Can they take that travel and shit? Because... We know that he's gonna have allies. You know, he's gonna have like the, the, maybe a division like Blackbeard has all those allies. Black, Whitebeard has all those. Ah, fuck, what's the word? Allies and stuff. And you know, maybe Luffy, the Law Pirates, Trafalgar's crew. I think they're gonna be their allies right now, so it's okay. Bartolomeo, I don't think he's gonna leave his crew to join Luffy, unfortunately. So I mean, they're gonna be allies for sure. But it was a good episode. If you if you didn't, I'm not gonna go much into it. I don't want to spoil it. If you haven't watched the episode yet, I say go watch. There's some good stuff in there. My name is Mike, and I'll see you next week.